Hey everyone, so I'm doing another video showing the hybrid VIC controller. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm uh, almost 100% positive this will work, given the VIC is set up correctly and uh, adjusted right. Anyways, in the meantime, I've got a few more things I wanted to show. First of all, the test point switch and the gate switch. Those are completely independent of one another. The test point switch, all it does is uh, allow me to view different points in the circuit to make sure everything's working correctly. So I can make sure my gate frequency generator is working correctly, my pulse frequency generator, or I can look, look at the signal going out the primary coil. Now here on this uh, oscilloscope as well, I can look at the primary coil. The reason for that is that I have them on both oscilloscopes. If I want to look at the cell waveform here, I can still view the primary coil on this one. Now in the middle of them, there's an off switch there, an off position. On that circuit, there's an RC circuit that would drain off any voltage in case I get a high voltage to that switch. It'll drain it off before I reconnect to my uh, hybrid VIC driver, hopefully protect that circuit. So one thing I realized just recently, and the reason why I added this VGH enable switch, which wasn't on the last video, is that when I'm on VGate high, which is what VGH is, voltage when the gate period is high. When I try and adjust that all the way, as you see, I can't reach the peak of the pulses. That's because of the voltage drop across that potentiometer and the circuit associated with it. So in order to bypass that, I just added this switch that either shuts that off or turns it on. Now you can see during my gate period, I get a voltage amplitude equal to the amplitude of the pulses. If I want to turn it down, I also can't turn it all the way down to the zero volt level. but when I put it in VGate Pulse, that's what that does when it's uh, turned all the way down. And that also is the position that allows me to add the uh, variable amplitude pulsing. Now if I want to adjust the amount of pulses on each pulse train, all I do is change my gate frequency generator duty cycle. So here you can see and again, at any point in the circuit, I can change what I'm sending to the VIC. can also change the frequency of the gate period. This circuit really does give me more adjustability. Um, if that is the right word to use. The Stan Meyer circuits did. Also, again, I can uh, view everything in real time. So again, I think the circuit will work very well. The VIC has always been the problem. And the most difficult part of the whole thing is the VIC. So, that'll be the next project. In the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.